under an infrared camera, you can barely see the body of the bunny. This is because there's no infrared emission from the, uh, the bunny's body out across the, the fabric. The first thing that is important is to understand how we see an object. Typically the waves propagate sort of in a stretch line, uh, but in this case you will be doing something to the wave so that it is curved and it goes around the object. Okay, and in this way, you avoid the interaction between the object and the wave. We use mirrors and four lens systems to deflect light around a body. You'd be able to see this uh, optical effect where you see around my fingers or a small region. Those are materials that, that, that they offer properties in their interactions with waves that they cannot be found in nature. You take different materials, you put them together uh, in, in a way that is not obvious, but you can do to the waves things that the, 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 the natural materials will never do. Then you could hide light around a region and that region becomes invisible. kind of a manipulation of the properties of the wave so that it can pass through the object like a gauche. There are a lot of problems still uh, to be solved. For the materials, the main difficulty is they can really only do it for a single wavelength. For ours, the main difficulty is that we have limited range of angles that you can do it. And you, you can't get everything. That's the limit of physics. But if you can scale this, maybe a suit would be more practical. As the suit moves, you know where it's moving and you can um, map the light so that it goes around perfectly so that it just becomes invisible. And, uh, and I want to believe that uh, it will take us to a point where we can make it practical to create uh, invisibility cloaks and invisibility devices. Uh -huh.